How are you guys today? You doing, good. man? How are doing you? good. I, I, you know, I, I'll be honest. I'm a little weirded out seeing people together after all this. <laughs> I, I, that's crazy. Crazy. <laughs> I know, right? Right. It's, how does that? How does it? Well, how does that feel? First of all, to do press again for a movie and be together, you know. You know, it, it, it's it's beautiful and it's also a lot at the same time because it, we've been holed up, you know, and so they're like, talk, talk to people for eight <laughs> hours today. And I'm like, ah, OK, um, but it's great to see Keith to be back mm-hmm. with him. It's 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 really fun and it, he makes this fun. So I'm glad I get to do it with him. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Well, let me just talk about this movie because this is a really terrific film. I was very impressed. Uh, you know, both of you come from TV. I do, I've done a lot of TV. Keith. What was it like for you working with Chris McKay? How did, what did he bring to this as a, as a filmmaker? Um, it was just fun working with It was easy working with him. It was fun and it was easy. And he's easy to talk to. And um, like Jasmine was saying earlier, he really pays attention to detail. And he lets us be us. He lets us be us. Uh, let's just bring us to our characters, like really be us. He wants us. And, I, and that's one thing that I think I've been learning more as an actor is just collaborating, like really collaborating with your, and like having that creative control of your character. Mm-hmm. And he lets you, he was letting us do that. And I thought that was amazing. And it, and, and it just helps you, you know, helps you with your confidence and it helps you just really bring the character to life more, give your life, I mean, give your character like a heart, a soul. Um, that's what I really loved about working with Chris. Yeah. Nice. Same for you, Jasmine. Yeah, absolutely. Everything he said. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know what's funny? I think of his work with the Lego movies, mm-hmm. and he he made a movie that with freaking Legos, where you actually give a crap about the characters. Yeah. He, he did the same thing here. He made a big action mm-hmm. movie with big monsters, yet you actually give a give a shit about you guys. You actually yeah. want to see you guys survive. Was how much conversation went in? I'll start with you, Jasmine, on this one. How much conversation with Chris went into kind of creating this character? Or did he kind of give you the freedom to go with it? Yeah, he totally gave me the freedom uh, right off the jump, actually. Um, and I'm this I'm the sort of actor who who journals and does a, a backstory. Um, so I sent him prior to shooting, I sent him <laughs> a little reluctantly because it was so long, a 10 page like character bio. And I sent it to him and oh, he cool. was like, I love this. I want more. He didn't say no to anything. He was like, it felt real. It felt grounded. Um, Keep investigating and exploring that. Um, I mean, McKay is so amazing that, you know, he pays such attention to detail that I had um, as, you know, Jasmine, I wear an African necklace uh of the you know the continent and Mm -hmm. he was like i love that do you mind if we bring that to your character Mm -hmm. and that's how lieutenant hart ended up with the black african necklace on her person um so it's little things like that that make the character more grounded in real life Mm -hmm. um that and and that's the reason why you care about these characters because he's so dead set on bringing your bringing you as the actor to the character Mm -hmm. yeah no what I another thing I think that really stood out with this is the monsters. Come yeah. on, <laughs> how much did you yeah. guys see of these guys? I mean, this is terrifying. We Keith, I'll start with of, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we saw a lot of like illustrations and stuff and stuff on storyboards, and it's them just like mapping out what the white spike would be. But you could see all that. But that first reveal in the movie is like. Oh, I get it now. Like that's when I was like, "This is this is like really good." Like I already thought this is fire, but then once the reveal happened, I was like, "Yo, this is so cool!" And the, and the alien is so original. Yeah, and that's what I love. Like, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. I was saying earlier, there's no way that I I could have imagined how cool and terrifying this alien is mm. when i was filming and i'm glad i didn't because i probably would have been scared and that's not good for my character <laughs> <laughs> probably not probably no. <laughs> not what's that, do you guys not have a favorite monster movie something like because i love monster movies i got a boogans poster right here so that's oh, that's I all i'm it. saying <laughs> well do you have any favorites um <laughs> <laughs> I laugh, but they're not really monsters, but they are. I love gremlins. Don't I knew you were gonna say gremlins. <laughs> <laughs> it's a monster movie. Uh, it is, right? I love it. Yes. Yes. <laughs> what about you, Keith? It's crazy. I can't really think of like one top top of my head, but I guess Alien. Mm. Alien, yeah. that was always, I mean, 
you know, the scene of the alien just right up on, you know, with the with the in all the drool. And then as the I don't I don't remember if it was the first one or, or the later ones when the other little alien head would come out the mouth. Or was that oh, Alien vs. Predator? First, that yeah, right that's all of them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was oh yeah, okay, it was. That was crazy. I think the the alien and alien, the monster in alien, whatever you want to call it, was the one. <laughs> See you more. Yeah. Well, you guys are fantastic. It's a great movie, and uh, congratulations. We got to wrap up. I could talk to you all day. You guys are great. I know. Thank, Thank you so much. much. Thanks, Thanks you guys. It. No problem. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Thank you.